Today, our topic is Tinophora. In Kingdom Animalia, Unit 1, Chapter 2, Zoology. And already we have discussed about Porifera and Nidarians. And today we are going to discuss Tinophora. So, Tinophora. So, Tinophora is a Greek word. Tinos means comb. Pora means that is four or porous. Pores means bearing. So comb bearing animals are comes under this phylum Tinophora. And Tinophora are mostly marine. So they are marine forms. They live in the sea water. They need the salt water to live or to survive. And their symmetry is biradial. So radial means you can cut at any plane like this plane or this plane or this plane, this plane you can cut. But biradial means same that is biradial but it can cut only in this plane only. Okay, only one side. It can cut means it gives two equal halves. So tenophora is biradial symmetry. And diploblastic animals. Diploblastic animals means it possesses only two germ layers. Ectoderm, endoderm. In between the ectoderm and endoderm, there is a fluid called mesoglia. And this fluid, that is this fluid mesoglia is different from nidarians. So in tenophora, the mesoglia is different from nidarians. So the nidarian is also an diploblastic animal. But their mesoglia was different. But this it is different. Because this is somewhat advanced compared to the nidarians. So diploblastic means ectoderm, endoderm. In between a mesoglia layer was same. And it, it shows the tissue level of organization. Tissues are formed in this phylum. So it shows the tissue level. Though they are diploblastic, that, that, uh, uh, their uh, mesoglia is different from that of nidarians. And it consists of amoebocytes and smooth muscle cells. So this nidarian possesses amoebocyte cells. Amoeba like cells which are called as amoebocytes and their muscle cells are too smooth. So these muscles are that is smooth muscle cells are present in the tenophora that is amoebocytes and smooth muscles are seen in tenophora. And they have eight external rows of ciliated comb plates as the name indicator Tino means comb. So how many rows are seen here? Eight external rows of cilia comb plates are seen which is called comb jellies. And these comb jellies are comb plates used in locomotion. That is they are used in locomotion. Called comb jellies or sea walnuts. So they look like a walnut. So that walnut was seen in the sea. So they can be called as sea walnut or comb jelly. So they may ask in one mark. Okay. Bioluminance is well marked in Tinophora. Bioluminance means it creates, that is it emits the light. So you can see here. So this is an tenophora which produces light in the dark. So in night time it produces light. That is called bioluminance. So bioluminance means the light is emitted from a living organism. So that is called that is called bioluminance and it is seen in this phylum. So in this phylum tenophora how the light is emitted from this tenophora. Okay. They lack nematocytes. So the nematocytes are the stinging cells seen in the nidarian to capture the prey. Here the nemo, nem, that is, nematocytes are absent. How they will capture the prey? So instead of nematocytes, they have special cells called 
लासो सेल्स और कोलियोब्लास्ट लासो सेल्स और कोलियोब्लास्ट विच हेल्प इन फूड कैप्चर so this is the structure of the coleoblast you can see the granules that is here you can see it a tentacle refractive filament special filament called a sticky refractive tentacle tentacle which captures the prey and surrounds it the the prey so if and it was sticky also if the prey uh, was a Uh, stuck into the tentacle it won't it cannot able to release okay and the coleoblast discharge an adhesive thread like structure which is sticky to the touch that i say no so the it it releases a discharge that is the adhesive means a gum that is a gum like substance okay to attach it to attach it to it that the uh, prey that food is attached to the tentacle and some of the uh, species they won't tent they won't have tentacles so during that time the body so think this is a body this body has the fluid sticky fluid through that it captures the prey so coleoblast is a seen in the tentacles with a sticky substances that substances is used to catch the prey and it looks like a tentacle coleo blast and the digestion is both extracellular and intracellular so it take the food from outside and uh, and allow it inside and there the digestion takes place so extracellular and intracellular digestion or takes place in the stenophora and sexes are not separate so the sexes are present in the same organism there is no male tenophora or female tenophora only one in phylum tenophora the male and female sexes are not separated they are present in a single organism so that type is called monoecious monoecious means same single mono means single eecious means single organisms okay so monoecious they are present in the same organism the male sex organ and female sex organ are present in the same organism then it is called monoecious and they reproduce only by sexual means there is no asexual as you see in nidaria polyp and medusa condition no here there is no asexual phase only the sexual reproduction takes place and the fertilization is external not inside the body the human being uh, fertilization is internal but the stenophora is the lower form this fertilization takes place outside the body then it is called external fertilization so the development means for example this uh, puts the egg the egg hatches into larva larva to um that is a uh, small that is larva uh, young um, young form and mature form like that it shows us the development so we are the indirect we are coming we are, our development state takes place inside the mother's womb till 10 months after that we are coming as a uh, human being only not as a, any other form like okay but this one indirect means the development after fertilization it the x will be formed from the x larva will become that that larva matures and become the adult one okay so like that here the development is indirect so indirect means first the x from the larva the larval stage to the adult stage so like that it happens and means it is indirect development so in this the larval stage is called kydipt kydipt larva kydipt larva okay so the development is indirect and the larval stage is called kydipt larva example is pleurobrachia and tenoplana you can see the picture of pleurobrachia so this is the picture of pleurobacteria that is brachia and this is this also so shows the bioluminance so you can see the light emitting in this organism so hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box 
Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.